Okay, this is the second bridge designer video. We're going to use the same program as before. So, Windows key, bridge. Let's open the program. This time, uh, we are not worried about a bridge that works. So, what we are going to do, yes, we're going to create a new bridge design. Uh, we'll go through this. Uh, no on page two. Uh, now, what you choose on this page is entirely up to you. It depends on what you've drawn in your folio. You and your partner have chosen a bridge design. Now you're going to draw that bridge design into this software. So, it has to be no peer. But some of these other things are optional. The elevation doesn't matter. I always like to elevate it down. Now what will happen is the bridge gets narrower uh, the further down it goes. Therefore there's less joints that can fit in. So it's going to depend on what your bridge looks like and this might be a bit of trial and error. You try things. Uh, you change the elevation. Now if you start with that one yes you get lots of joins you could get pretty complex uh, in your bridge design however you will run out of well uh, you get less room at the top so your bridge will not be able to be built high so I always like to start narrow I just find it easier to design a bridge that way uh, but I'll let you experiment that with that Let's click next, click next. None of this matters. Make sure it's on none. Click next. Put your name in. Put your class in there. Next and finish. And there's our drawing board. Again, we can close this. Gives us more space. And using your folio, copy the design of your bridge. What it looks like as best you can into this program. So remember use this crosshair to get things symmetrical. It's really good if you can make your bridge symmetrical. So what you do on the left side should be the same as the right side. And uh, yeah, let's draw our bridge. Um, yeah. And that one, my bridge is going to be fairly simple. We'll draw our members in. Oop. Sorry, I need to go back. My bridge has got these things up here. Now, I do want my bridge to be symmetrical. So let's draw it in. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. Remember, look in your folio. You should be copying what's in your folio. There you go. That's what my bridge looks like. Now, if I tried to test this, this is going to be unstable. It's impossible to test, but this is what my folio picture looks like. Me and my partner, this is what our bridge looks like. And for the purposes of what we're using this program for, that doesn't matter. All we want this program for is to draw a plan of our bridge. So that's it. I'm happy with that. Now we're going to copy a picture of this and put it in a document that we can print out. So Windows tool, uh, sorry, Windows key and snip. This will give us a snipping tool. Let's click the snipping tool and you simply click new, new snip and basically I want my bridge so I'm going to drag a box to try and copy my bridge. That's good. I'm going to click edit and copy 
Now I'll go back to my go back to my uh, Google Docs. So there I've got my docs open, and I'm going to paste that snip into here. But first, we're going to click File, Page Setup, and we want to change our page to Landscape, and click OK. That looks better. Uh, I'll zoom that in. That's too much. Let's go back to 100. Uh, write your name on the page and then paste. So there's two ways you can paste. I can hold down Control and press V on the keyboard or I could go Edit Paste. So I'm just going to do Control V and there's my image. Now we want our bridge to be as big as possible on this page. So I've kind of got this unnecessary space or stuff here really I only want the bridge so double click on the image and make sure you get those little black handles that allows me to crop don't don't move the blue handles only the black handles and it will do a crop there you go click somewhere in the white space maybe press escape that's better and I can now use the handles to fill the page with my bridge now if I move the middle handles it will change uh, what, what do you call that it'll stretch or it'll shrink my bridge now you might want to do that that's okay you can uh, I mean that looks that looks cool but it doesn't fill the page we need to fill the page so it's important that we fill the page with our bridge so really that's it we only use bridge designer to draw our bridge it doesn't have to pass the test okay we're going to test it with spaghetti later we use the snipping tool to create a copy of our image then Google Doc, paste it into a Google Doc landscape, fill the page, and then, whoops, what have I done? Don't know what I did there. Uh, and then we can print that out. So one of two things, you'll either be sent to the library uh, to print off the computer there from your Google Doc. Ooh, always good to uh, name your bridge name your document mr l's bridge or share it to your teacher who will print it for you uh, that's enough for this video copy your design from your folio into bridge designer and then we'll print it out this will become a plan that you work from in class when you're building your bridge thank you